Hello MechWarriors, how is it going? And welcome to another episode of MechWarrior Online. Today, guys, we are playing the Longbow. Not any Longbow, we are playing the Spitfire. Spitfire is a new legendary Longbow and it is just ridiculous. It is, you know what? Let me show you its features. Um, I'm gonna go in and uh, you will see here what this is all about. As you can see, we have a ridiculous amount of missile hardpoints and all of them are filled with rockets. Yes, one-shot weapons, but hear me out, guys. It's very interesting to play, actually. Now, uh, when we take a look at our loadout error here, it says that when we fire more than four of these, then we will generate ghost heat. I'll heat spike bigger than normal um but at the same time um we can fire four of these and that's kind of ridiculous um as you can see we have like um three rocket 20s on each arm that is 60 on each arm so 120 and then we have four rocket 15s on each side torso so another 124 a total of 240 missiles each dealing two damage which means we have 480 damage on top of the snub nose ppcs that we also can fire so each of them dealing 10 damage which means we have a solid 500 damage alpha strike and it says 250 here, but that's just because this thing cannot count. It's just crazy. Now, it's worth noting uh, that you can only do it on this specific one here because it has a rocket launcher HSL plus 3, a heat scale limit plus 3. Normally, you could only fire one without go seed. So now we can fire four of them. And our pattern is one, two, three, four, bam, enemy down. That's the thing. We have to wait half a second between the shots in order to blast an enemy to pieces. And that's exactly what we try to do. We want to escalate the fight. We want to um, snow a snowball hard from getting an early kill and just destroying uh, a twelfth of the enemy team. And all of a sudden have more mechs on the battlefield that are fresh than the enemy. Of course, we would fall back to our secondary weapons, which are the two snub nose PPCs. And at that point, we are basically we have the firepower of a medium mech so what are we doing in that instance we use our ridiculous armor that we have we have um for an 85 toner quite um a nice amount of uh, armor plating and when you take a look at the big big missile pods you can see they actually obstruct a lot of our side torsos so we want to try to beat the tank for the team in the second phase of the game. We want to still shoot our snub nose PPCs because they deal 20 damage and we can rack up damage over time. Um, but yeah, we are an initiation mech and, um, you know, just blasting one guy to pieces is just ridiculous fun. And uh, by the way, if you're wondering if you can rack up more than 500 damage in, in a game, watch the second game. It's just, it's crazy. It, it just works. It's, it's not the best mech in the world, guys. It's a meme mech, but it is fun as hell. All right, let's talk about skills before we go in. Uh, as you can see, I didn't really bother with cooldown too much. Those were some leftover points that I just put in there because our rockets are one shot. They are fire and forget. They don't have a reload, so we don't care about that. What I do want is heat gen, so I can fire a bunch of them at the same time. I like velocity, so that I don't have to lead my, my aim so much when the target is moving. And ideally, um, quick uh, come back to the build idea. Uh, ideally, you go for big mechs that have big hitboxes because our missiles spread. And ideally, you're going to be a little bit closer to the enemy, uh, but not too close, which is important here because uh, rockets have... Uh, as you can see, a dead zone. There is, when you take a look at the diagram there, there's a little bit of a gap where you deal zero damage. So you got to be in, what is it, 60 meters or something like that? Um, don't know the numbers exactly, but uh, you can probably figure it out in the simulators. So uh, going back here to velocity, um, we also have missile spread and high explosive for additional critical damage here. That's a thing I wanted. Maximum skeletal density, armor hardening, as well as speed tweak. Speed tweak is just to get close, just to get into position. Also not necessary, but I like to have it. We also have a heat containment, again, so I can fire more often. Um, or in very quick succession because those rockets initially will generate a lot of heat and I want to be able to fire all of my four salvos very quickly and it'll, it'll stack quite quickly. Got hill climb for verticality, seismic sensor to know when to go in, and a bit of radar deprivation, which is also not that necessary here. We got double cool shot plus double uh, UAV, so that's nice as a support, and that's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now, and if you have that as, al as always, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because there's mech content every single day here, and now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alrighty guys, first game of the day, we are playing the Solaris City, we are playing Skirmish, and Harbinger is, uh, uh, taking command? Alright. 
Attack primary. All right, let's do it. Actually, left side is absolutely fantastic for us. We want to crush into the enemy's firing line. Using our rockets, hopefully, we will take an enemy out very early on so that we can snowball from that point on because reducing the enemy's firepower by one mech is a huge deal early on. So, I uh, want to try to get that done. Um, I don't know if I'm going to, like, rush them and try to get my load unloaded. <laughs> and then... Um, you know, die. I'd rather keep my firepower a little longer. You know, we have two snub nose PPCs. While the damage is not fantastic, it is still good enough. And I want to use my armor later on, so let's try to not overheat and die and, you know, use those snubs um, and put them to good use. So, here we are, guys. We're gonna wait for the big boys as well. Uh, I want to have some banshees and hotter motors around me when we are doing our thing. Because if I just, again, run in and die, there is no no help. The enemies will probably uh, um, prioritize me when I'm running in. So I want somebody else to capitalize on it as well, using my armor in that instance. If the enemies are just shooting me for free, then uh, it's not good enough for me. So, here we are. Want to run through the center? I think you guys want to set up somewhere around the sidelines here. Yeah, I'm going to go and, and push a little bit into the center here. So we are closer to our enemies and we don't have to run that fast, uh, that, that long. Okay. Yeah, let's go. I personally don't like that the seer, the side is not covered enough. I wonder, I really wonder if there are enemies that are taking the long alley here. Oh, there they are. We found them. Yeah, they're moving to the center. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, my team is going a bit more aggressively into the center of the map, so I'm gonna go with them. And I wonder if they are crushing into the center or right here. This might still be a spot where enemies Echo are. Five. Echo 5. Here they are. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I have more where that came from. Um, I... What? I, I pressed my button. The missiles weren't coming out. But that guy is basically dead. Oh, boy. We messed him up good. If you see a Marauder to see, kill him, he's open. Um, Alright, that was good. I pressed my button number 5 and nothing was happening. I don't know why. Uh, people calling for assistance. Uh, we could have gotten the kill. But hey guys, again, this guy is messed up completely. And uh, he's out of the game. I am also kind of... Get the Warhammer. Oh, here he is. There we go! We got it in the end. Huh. My button was jammed. Hello. Uh, I can take some damage for the team. Um, but yeah, these guys are now going in with their pulses. Let's let's escalate. Let's keep going. Let's just keep going. Beautiful. So, Ruck's being fired, but that's alright. I'm gonna use my arm as a shield. Come on, push with me. Let's go, guys. Use me as a shield. Okay. So, we made it so far. I don't like the Ruck so much. So, we're gonna go in here. Oh, there's a kill already. There's one guy behind us. Alright, peeking in. Yeah, we should maybe go back and take the guy in the Fox 3 area. It's more than one. It's a Centurion. Plus, somebody else was here. Uh, cut his path, I guess. Ah, oh, man, I don't really want to get too far from the center. Everybody is rushing that Centurion now and is getting away from the center. Whereas, I believe here is where the fun is happening. Yeah, let's go. Let's go to the center. Hunting down a single Centurion is not worth it. And somebody was shot here? The enemies are half the oh, there's a guy! Right next to me! I was not seeing him! <laughs> okay, shots being fired here in the center. There's low signal as well, so we're gonna reinforce. Us, uh, our friend. Where's the enemy? He's dead. It's an 8 in 1 situation. And in fact, two enemies are out in the outskirts. Is the question if everybody is there? Uh, is everybody there? Affirmative. Yeah? Alright. Alright. Um, cool. So, uh, that's a Centurion three-man squad is what he said. I don't know if you could hear it. So, we're gonna help out here. It's not that we need it because my friends probably have it covered already. But hey, let's get some more damage in. Maybe snatch a kill or two. Um, still one mystery target that is not on the battlefield that we don't see, that we don't know of. See, it's a problem. Yes, we murder ball, but I don't think I'm gonna be in time for an actual kill here. Target destroyed. Yeah, that's it. So, last enemy is also here. Oh! Oh, that's all of them! 
Interesting. But yeah, again. So, we initiated. And we tanked for the team. And that felt great. That felt so good. <laughs> Sorry, man. That Marauder to see. I mean, he was going for it. And he was... Punished. We got two killing blows, and that's a trade I am absolutely willing to take here. We got uh, five assists, we got 500 damage done, one kill most damage dealt, obviously, and seven components. Guys, that has been the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alrighty, guys, second game of the day. We are playing Solaris City, and that's pretty good for us. So, let's see if we can find some enemies that are running unexpectedly into our face, and we're gonna face them back with some rockets. Let's go. Uh, left side it is. Uh, we are missing a guy, which is a bit of a problem. And I don't know how many pre-mates we have on the other side. I don't know. It seems like a random team here. Uh, the fact that they all have, or most of them, have a, a clan or a unit, um, and we don't, eh, it, it might give them a bit of an upper hand, because, you know, it's, it's not really necessarily uh, a big indicator, but it, it's, it's a small one that gives the enemy maybe a sense of, hey, I am in a clan or I have a unit, and as a result, I um, I know how to play in a team or whatever. And then, you know, we have some random mercenaries here on our side. It's just assumptions. I, there's nothing really, there's no science behind that. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at what we can do. We want to obviously be in the face of the enemy relatively quickly. Um, we ideally want to have ECM, which we have right now. That's perfect. Uh, and yes, I think I will, I will drop. I want to stay in the low ground. Not being seen, not being targeted early on. <sighs> Going left side completely. I wonder if I should go for Delta 4. It seems free. Uh, Raven is there. Uh, means that nobody is there of the enemies. <sighs> Cutting through might be an idea as well. Target spotted. Okay, target has been spotted. I think I'm gonna go for heat vision here. Yeah, the 6 is hot, it seems. Uh, I'm cutting through the center. Um, there's no need to go around. It seems like all of them are in Delta 6-ish. We have a Marauder with us. Perfect. Yeah, let's go. I need a free shot though, buddy. Uh, let me take the point and then you can clean up if you want to. Oh boy. Oh boy. There they are. We found them. Delta 6 now sealed them. Where is the rest of the enemy team? Oh, there's somebody in uh, Echo 5. Echo 5 was a UAV. There's nobody here. Like, literally. Oh, hello. I don't want to waste that on a Wang. Oh, that is a target, though. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha. But you're attacked now by one of my friends. Come around, Wang. It's fine. Oh, uh, I think we can trade hits. Is there more? That's my question. We found the assault mags! But I think I'm too fat. Get through here. Yeah, I have to go around. Alrighty then. Uh, let's drop some damage on the assault mags. Need a target. That's a good target. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. I dealt damage. It was so random, but... It probably set them under pressure. No, it did not. Uh, where's my follow-up? Where's my team? Uh, I messed them up with rockets. Good. So, just go for torsos. Go for Santa Mas. Yeah, look at that gargoyle. He doesn't have a lot of fun there. Uh, it's time to actually do something on the other side here. You were firing, huh? It's my friend. Again. I want to shoot again. Okay. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Who are you? Mr. Hatamoto. Yeah, we couldn't really condense our damage to uh, a single spot, sadly. But we have them cornered. We have them kind of pinned on two sides, which is fan-freaking-tastic. <sighs> Cannot hit him. I could hit him. Oh, I was treading the needle there. All right, Irby down. Love to see it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That Fafnir is also pretty messed up. So, uh, let's not block him. Let's not block the friend. But also deal some damage to the Hadamoto. It's 20 damage at a time. They have way more than I have here in comparison but i can use my armor to help out the team a little bit i kind of want to make that push happen to be honest um gargoyle is center towards a crit almost okay that's the hell hell spawn um i want to push right side delta six are you with me i can share some armor if you like that all right i'm going in now right side delta six here we go okay so uh, oh, the fight is already on here. But it's okay. We're gonna continue. On the Fafnir. Um, 
Dude, don't don't overextend. There's too much. There is way too much. I said push, not not die. Okay. So I'll take a little bit if they are going for me. Left side. It's fine. Okay, push is happening. Yeah, we are going in now. Hello, my friend. Blap. <laughs> and again. Blap. And another meep. All right, so we made a decisive push from both angles. I love it. Um, there's a health spawn in Charlie 6. And somewhere there's a Nebo Jaguar here as well. Delta 6-ish. Okay, so you got low signal. You're getting chased. There we go. We spotted him. Double snap. That's the same thing that I have. Look at that. I'm the health spawn. Okay. Sentatoso. Once more. Yeah, we hit him. So, where's the Jaguar? Honestly... Ah, there, there. Okay, so there's more. That was the rock dude, right? Yeah! He was there on the flank the whole time. Wow, crazy. Didn't hit him. It's a night star. I want to go for the big boy. Kind of hope that he's pushing forward again. Uh, Hellspawn is here on the flank now. Alright. Let's try to find him. It's 11 and 3. Did you get the Hellspawn? I think he's here. Ah. Getting shot. Charlie 6. Okay. Charlie 6, Delta 6 ish? I think it was here. It might have been the Jaguar actually. Hiding the whole time. Enemy base is being okay, captured. we are capturing the base. Where did the guy go? Ha! Huh, interesting. I want to play this to the end here. But again, I think our initiation completely messed the enemy team up. They were not that confident anymore. We were cornering them from two sides. It was just enemy beautiful. Trying to look at Rex here to see what we are missing. Nothing on seismic is what they say. But yeah, I might have been shot by, I don't know, team damage? No. No. No, that wasn't it. Where is the guy? I mean, we can just win by caps, but I believe there's one guy here still. Okay, let's go for our heat vision again. On the hunt. Come on, buddy, show yourself. Where are you? Mm, I don't think that they are going for our base. That wouldn't help because we already have the upper hand on capturing. God, this is one thing that I don't like about Solaris. When there's one last guy and they're not showing up. Enemy base is being was, I, captured. was I seeing ghosts or was there somebody in Echo 6 on the minimap? I was blinking for a second and then I was like, what? Okay, let's keep going. I believe they might be here in the center-ish area, might make a wide angle around either to our base or base their base to snatch the single guy. Oh, there he is. Oh, actually, they're doing it. They are doing... What is it? I need to know. Who's the last guy? Raven is engaging, 64%. Sure. I'm gonna help. Huh? Enemy base is being captured. There we go. Oh, that is a lot of laser beams. Okay. Go for heat vision. He's moving back. Ah! <clears throat> I was waiting for the cooldown. And he got my raven friend. And he's probably gonna get me as well. I don't know. The heavy larges. We're gonna move sideways. Um, he snarked! At the very least, we know where he is now. Right side. Twist. Nope. Ah, baited him. Uh-huh. Left arm. Critical. All right, we still have the snubs. We halved him. Okay, center torso hit. Love to see it. Um, the right side. Okay, we have the cooldown. And we have him. Holy crap, that fight in the end was actually quite intense still. That was good. So, yeah, we did it. We won the video game. <laughs> Let's take a look at the end score here. That was fun. Holy crap. I can't believe that. I was not expecting a thousand damage on this build at all, ever, ever, ever. We got like three killing blows, four KMDD, seven... Is, you see what is happening here. Um, all right. I mean, I'll take it. Thank you. But I didn't expect that coming from a rocket build, guys. If you enjoyed that video, then don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you want to support me, you can become a channel member. There's a button beneath the video stage. Check that out. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.